Hello, I'm Roger Bisbee from the Skill Builder channel, back with the Ask Skill Builder help desk, and I've got a problem that's coming from Rachel. She's sent some videos in, so let's have a look at these. Oh, there's a lovely hand showing a little damp patch that's appeared and a couple of more little bumps and lumps and oh no look here you are. <laughs> this is the salts coming out of the wall and that is what I would call a fairly severe case of damp. The whole wall has been replastered. She said she had a lot of damp remedial damp work done on this wall. They replastered it. You can see by those angle beads just how rusty they are how much moisture is coming through this window around well it's not a window it's a bay window and um anyway she's getting nowhere with it really because she's had several people come and look at it and none of them know so do i know or not or do i need some help let's um do you know what where's james hello mate <laughs> oh james where are you the caribbean yeah, I've just popped over here for, for the weekend. There's just one thing about this, right? Okay, because I'm, I'm alive to the possibilities of AI now and all this trickery. Why is that palm tree in the background waving about, but your hair is perfectly still? Uh, extra firm gel. Sorry I doubted you, James. I just needed a bit of help with this problem. So let's go back to uh, have a look at the video, shall we? So she's got this damp coming around the bottom as well. So it's not just around that window. She's got it around the floor area. You can see it's quite poor. Oh, look at that. Look at the the rusty air vents. Why would you put... I think somebody's put these in, told her that you need ventilation. So she's taking ventilation from the underfloor area, suspended wooden floor, and blasting it up on the wall, which I wouldn't have thought was going to help at all, really. What do you think? No, so, well, you, I, I don't think that would help. And also, I, I spotted like an air brick in looks like the other side of an air brick in the room this is the floor showing the damp coming through onto the floorboards that's all at the bottom of the plaster all that plaster right up to the floorboard as well i, mean, it's, I don't know if there's much gap no i don't think there's any gap is there let's have a look at another one james so this was it hacked off <laughs> before she had all that work done and look at this oh look that's that. uh that looks like a telescopic air vent there yeah and then that bit of damp proof course why why put that damp proof course that's yeah and that's the air brick i was talking about just to the right oh okay yeah, yeah so that's just basically blasting cold air straight from that look at the brick look at the brick bonding there james looks like you did it <laughs> 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 no looks like i did it <laughs> yeah, drunk yeah. drunk on a dark night let's have a look at the outside shall we so that that bay that's... window that looks just single skin it is, yeah. She said it was a, a four-inch wall, just a what we call a half brick, half brick wall. So the main, the main building is nine-inch. She's down in Brighton. Quite a few of those properties down there, what they call cob walls, where they just chucked any old rubbish in, almost like demolition rubble, into the walls and built them with anything, and then they just kind of rendered over the whole thing to keep them together, and they are particularly problematic when it comes to damp because you can't get a damp-proof course in there. Even if you want, I was going to cut one in. I went down to a job in Brighton, a friend of mine, and I said to him, I've got, I got a diamond chainsaw which can cut through the mortar. And I said to him, I can put you in a physical damp proof course. But when we started looking at the wall, the courses were so irregular that there was no way of getting a, a straight line all the way through. So we gave up on that. But what do you think, James, anyway? The, the damp course that they have put in there, is, well, it's only about 50 mil above the pavement, if that. Yeah. Yeah, it's barely. Well, it's not good enough. It needs to be at least one fifty up. So, what would you do, James? What would you do? Okay, supposing you put it up to the second brick height there, you put a damp proof course in there. What would you do with that bit below it? Because she obviously doesn't want that through the inside, does she? I would rebuild the lower parts with with a Class B engineering brick, so it's non-porous to start. Take the whole lot out, basically that whole bay window again. Replace that the lower courses. Dig down a bit. See what's a bit, bit below. You know, obviously it's council uh, pathway there, but I'd be inclined mm. to take a couple of them up and maybe even put a couple of layers of slate like you would do with a, with a french drain just to help any moisture from the ground that could be penetrating that wall there it needs something like some kind of a barrier like that 150 mil up with a damp course in there it's got to be re-rendered but there's got to be an actual break between the rendering above and below the damp course 
Yeah, you're like a bead all the way round. So in other words, use an extra wide damp proof course so that it comes through the render and then you can render up to the underside of it and then the top side of it. Keep it reasonably straight if you can. Well, you could do that with a batten actually, couldn't you? Batten or, or, or under the damp proof course, render around the top. You could even put a bell cast uh, on the top yeah. half, which would slightly yeah. hang over and it would hide the damp course itself. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, if you're using lime render and because it, it looked like lime plaster on the inside i'm assuming mm. it's to help it all breathe because it's only a single skin that you've got to have a break between the mm. between the renders you can't just completely render that in one go um but that's so that's as far you know that's the outside but as for the inside mm. you think of the problem because it looks as though the the ground level outside is slightly higher than inside so yeah you can yeah. see where that um where the damp course is there yeah yeah Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, it is. You're right. It's up, isn't it? So that's dropped. So that that floor is about what three or four inches below the the pavement. Definitely. Yeah. I wonder where that. I wonder where that underfloor ventilation is coming from then, because she's got three grills in the floor, and normally you'd have an air brick. Maybe the air brick's like you say, were telescopic at one yeah, point. Yeah, that looks I, like I a telescopic know. box. Yeah. yeah, that one. But I think, so really, I mean, you know, if you're going to bring the, the damp course up to courses higher than where it is now, obviously you're quite a way up in the room and you're going to need to tuck something from um, from that course coming into the house and then down those bricks, down under the floor to possibly, I mean, we don't know what's underneath that floor. <laughs> what do you think, James? If that's a nine-inch wall for the rest of it, you yeah. know, which is a lot of people would see as two bricks wide, why do you think it's suddenly gone to a single brick around that bay? Because it would seem to me that you could carry that wall round inside the bay, even if you did it with stud work and yeah, it does. It look elements pulled or whatever. Okay, okay, you'd have finished up with a bigger sill, wouldn't you? But you could do all kinds of things then. A bit of insulation in it. Goodness knows what. It definitely looks like it could be a lot wider there. I don't know if perhaps in the past you never know the bay might have been removed and rebuilt. They've had problems in the part, and then it's happened yeah. again. They've done it again, but it does look yeah. there in that point there, like that nine inch could continue. Yeah, especially when you look at the uh, at the bottom piece there with a with a bank or so, you could quite easily looks as though you could get another brick. Always, I just yeah, yeah, you're right on on the actual. It's almost like yeah. I mean, it's almost a, like there is room for another brick there, but it's a hell of a lot of render to build up to get that up. Yeah, even if you didn't do that, if you could do it with a bit of, well, not stud work, because you don't want any timber in there, do you? But you could, I, yeah, dot, you know, you know, dot and dab some insulation board or um, yeah. elements board. Like you elements said. board, that's the one. Do you know what? I hesitated to say elements board because it sounds like I've sold my soul to them. But <laughs> I do think in that <laughs> situation, you know, if you've got some waterproof you know, cement. <laughs> I've got to pay for my Caribbean holiday somehow, James. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of product placement, shilling, as people call it. Um, so, yeah, I mean, get rid of all that lot. Prop the, prop the bay up again. Yeah. Get rid of all that. And, now, there's and something I, I think I would say about the whole propping of the bay. I mean, we, so we, we've talked about that whole bottom section there, and it's quite mm. clear that stuff is coming in from the ground, from the from the pavement. It's getting soaked mm. into that brickwork. It's soaking mm. up. The, the damp course is not doing anything at all. No. Um, but as for the bits around the windows on on the corners of the sills, yeah. uh, I've got a little sneaking suspicion. Can we get back to that video of the outside again? There. Stop there. Look at that bit of timber there. Mm-hmm. Now, I've got a suspicion that that's been wedged right up under there, and it's towards the front of the sill. Ah, I see what you're saying. It's tilting it, back. I reckon it's pushed the sill up. They've built them yeah. bricks underneath. They've packed it right in. Yeah. And I you're reckon right. it did a little test and poured a bit of water on that sill. I've got and that's where it would come in. Back into the corner. Brilliant. Yeah. Good. I didn't spot that. That's really good. Yeah. Because there's that little gap that you can see. Yeah. See if my cursor works on it. There's a gap That's, along there. Yeah. And if that sill is, is tilting back and it's coming in under that gap there, it's doing exactly the opposite job. Yeah. So Especially cool. when the other thing that happens, James, as you know, is that you get the drain from the window yeah. coming under the sill and it's supposed to then come out it. It on the actual onto sill, the sill, isn't it? And run 
Oh, yeah, sorry, I'm not under the sill, under the frame, and then it yeah. comes onto the sill, and then that should come forward, shouldn't it? Yeah, I mean, some some uh, window manufacturers make them with little weep holes in the front. Yeah. That's more right, and more like often, those, yeah. you're seeing the type like this, where it's internal, so anything that yeah. gets inside that frame, it just, it just drains down, and like you say, just drops onto that sill and runs forward. But if, like it's like there, it's wedged up, and if mm. it's been wedged up so tight because they were yeah. probably concerned about the top of the bay, the window above and all that yeah. coming down. Yeah. I've got a feeling we're, that the weight's gone on there and it's tipped it back the other way. We're assuming that that piece of timber is not there anymore, that somebody's taken it away and finished that off in some way. Well, maybe they haven't. Maybe they've just gone. But if if that timber is there, then certainly knock it away and get the thing to sit back down. But if, if what they did is they put that timber up and then put a load of sand and cement under the seal really just drove it in there to try and stop the damp then that needs to come out doesn't it again but i think take that whole lot of brickwork down because it's just a mess anyway isn't it i think what would be wise is to probably get um some strong boys in and acro props above the window oh, yeah yeah, yeah support, just to take the weight the top yeah. by above yeah the canopy then or whatever you could put a couple of small props like this just to stop that window dropping but then remove that brickwork it's got to come out yeah um, you're right you could you could lift the whole lot assuming that the window frame was attached to the top you could probably get like you say strong boys in there and lift it lift the whole thing or well, what you're saying is maybe open the window and put the strong boys through the window is that what you're saying uh just just underneath the no just above the above the top of this window um mm. you know probably enough to break out a joint above there to slide a, yeah. a strong boy in Got it. Yeah. Just just to take the weight of the, the upstairs bay. This is showing the outside of the building. So you're dead right, like you say, you'd have to support that lot because all that weight is coming down straight through onto that window there. So, yeah, good call. Right? In actual fact, you could probably support it just about there, just, just above, like with your strong boys. So this is the original bit of render. There are a few cracks and gaps and things being filled in. Yeah. And then this bit down the bottom, the white bit, is where they've renewed all that render all the way round. Yeah. With what she said was a lime render. She said she had great difficulty in finding anybody who understood about all this stuff and was saying, oh, we'll put some breathable stuff on. And the guy, the builder that did it, is baffled as to why it didn't work. So that's why she's ended up with us, because he's, he's completely foxed. But I think your point, the... The height of the damp proof course, the fact it needs a bit of vertical damp proof course, and that fact that the water is running back from the window sill, water goes downhill, we all know that, and so that's basically what he needs to look at, I think, next, yeah? Yeah, I think so. I think, I think the just just one point about because the ground level on the outside being above the inside as well. Mm. And I was saying earlier about putting a a damp course in like like some kind of uh you know 1200 grade membrane that you would put underneath an, a concrete oversight something that you oh, could yeah. build okay. on the inside of the um damp course and then fold it down that brickwork and drop it right down under the floor obviously we don't know what's going on under there at the moment but at least if anything did come through it would hit the back of that membrane and then run down to under the floor where there is an airflow because there's air bricks and everything under there's that telescopic air brick so that should help to keep that relatively dry what the problem could cause from that is that now you've got that damp course where it should be which is going to be probably more like almost nine inches on the inside you may have to put a higher skirting board around to cover that yeah yeah because you're, yeah. you're not going to be able to render over that without it flaking off no also no, I think... you're not going to be able to mechanically fix any skirting balls there because then you'll be breaking through the 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 damp that you've just put in so, so a bit of one a... one bond on that or some some other mastic yeah but yeah there's plenty or, of them that would do that or like we said earlier we could you could put that membrane in and then stick a kind of elements board or something over the front of that as mm. well because then you then you've got something more that you could render onto yeah, and also you've got a bit of insulation in it as well. That's the thing I like about that. It's waterproof and you've got insulation and then you can plaster on it or do whatever you want. I would just say, when we're looking at this picture, I, had, I was, sorry I forgot about this picture, you know, didn't include it when I was sharing there. Um, but that's a good old soffit they've got there, isn't it? That's a good, 
good overhang on there. You know, it's good to see. Unfortunately, it finishes just at the bay window, doesn't it? So it's the sides. Sides are well protected, but the the bay window is a little bit exposed. I mean, again, we've got this problem with the PVC windows and no, it doesn't look like they've got trickle vents on them. And, you know, we do see quite a lot of trouble with condensation and so on, but this is not condensation. <laughs> this is This is in a different league, isn't it? I definitely think there's something should be done about the um, that air brick that we saw. It's just literally going from the outside straight through to the inside. I mean, that, yeah, doing that, nothing is it? Must be freezing in that room. Well, that's it, and I'd also get rid of those. But do you know what I think's happened here is that somebody said, you know, you get these people who just they spout this stuff almost as a mantra, and they're going, "Oh, the house has got to breathe. The house has got to breathe." So you've got to get ventilation. So you get they put air bricks in everywhere, and all it does is chill the place down to the extent that you get more condensation around the bay because there's no heat there so you know the good old bay window radiators that we used to put in have welded up um they did a job didn't they but yeah you're right i mean those that that air brick and also those ones cut through to the underfloor get rid of those get, get yeah they don't need to be there i think if if that floor stripped back it'd be good to see what's under there yeah replace the boards without the air vents get the other um air bricks on a telescopic like the one in the middle of the bay mm, yeah, that's yeah. under the floor to keep that's what needs the airflow really to keep the yeah. air dry yeah and hopefully uh, there's a bit the of the back are replaced, you've got to keep them at you know 25 mil away from the brickwork yeah just, that's why they're soaking wet just have a gap there and uh, or put, fill it with a bit of foam if if you know you could do that squirt the foam in there um and the other thing that you said is that don't bring the plaster right down to the floorboards it's got to stop that's what the skirting's there for you can leave an inch gap between the bottom of the plaster and the floor stop anything wicking up stop anything getting into those boards and i think you know she would be i mean to be fair this builder that she had in i mean the brickwork is something else he got somebody in to do that and you do wonder about his judgment if he thought that was um worth paying anybody for but but um he is genuinely looking for answers for her you know so he just said he was completely baffled by it so i think he would welcome the the views of not only yourself james but all the other comments we're going to get under the video from everybody the wisdom of crowds as it were but we get so many comments which say tear it all down stick a bomb under it you know it's <laughs> but somebody's paid good money for that house and they they love it and they want to see it you know yeah, it's, it's quite interesting, actually. Um, I mean, it'd be it would be interesting to see more on the um, the parts of the walls either side of the bay window, if there's actually any, any damp coming through in them sections, more into mm. the corners. Because if there's yeah. not, it's clearly just that bay, and there yeah, must yeah. be some form of damp barrier in there somewhere. Um, whether they just haven't found it when they were replacing that brickwork or not, but well, I, I just can't understand why it's been chopped. You know, it almost seems to me that somebody's thought we can make a bit more room in this this in this house. Just you know, you maybe they had a sofa that didn't quite fit in it. I don't, you know, what what's going on there? Why would you chop away? It looked to me like they chopped the way the brickwork that was going around the bay. But I could be wrong. It could have always been a four inch. I mean, you do see that, don't you? Single skin brick bays, and you know they tend to sink quite a lot. But um, but it's clearly not good. I, I definitely want to have a wider sill there and go around with a... If you could get a cavity in there, it'd be, be the dream solution, wouldn't it, really? Oh, anyway, yeah. great to see you, James. Sorry to disturb your holiday and uh, get back to what, the sunbathing or whatever you do. Oh, what are you doing? Just... A bit of, bit of shark hunting out there or what? <laughs> uh, do you know what? I, I don't know what to do with myself. I think I'm going to come home. I would come back uh, to work. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I keep saying that holidays are bad for you, James. You know that. They are. They're bad for me. <laughs> I can't stand it. You know your problem, don't you? You know your big mistake in life, James. What's that? Ta taking the kids with you. <laughs> She'll leave them at home with a tin opener and a can of beans. <laughs> they still wouldn't know how it works. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. It's great to see you, James. And let's let's um. Let's get you back. Let's get you back doing this a little bit with me because I, I enjoyed it. It's good. Yeah, I'll, I'll come and do some more for you. And you're looking well. Thanks, mate. We'll, <laughs> have, to, uh, we'll, have, sandwiches. To, we'll have to discuss a payment later, by the way. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> <laughs>